I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm CJ Ward. Two Santa Barbara charter schools are accused of breaking the law and trying to keep certain students out. Charter schools are required to use a lottery system during admissions. News Channel 3's Vicki Nguyen joins us live from Santa Barbara Charter School. And Vicki, the ACLU claims that school practiced a form of discrimination. That's right, Beth and CJ. So when I talked to the head of direct, the head of education here at the Santa Barbara Charter School in Goleta, she was surprised by the accusation. I also talked to the principal and superintendent of Peabody Charter. They both told me that they are now reviewing their admissions policies. Two charter schools in Santa Barbara are fighting to have their names removed from a controversial list created by the American Civil Liberties Union. Unfortunately, we believe that um, the 253 schools we found are really only the tip of the iceberg in actual on the ground um, discriminatory enrollment practices. Yeah, we were surprised to see Peabody mentioned on the list. We haven't gotten a response back yet, and we'd like to know more from the ACLU about where um, this information is coming from. When it was formed, Peabody Charter required parents and guardians to volunteer three hours each month at the school. That violates a California law, which prevents schools from forcing families to volunteer as a condition of enrollment. And they informed us it was um, from an old document about parent participation and about requiring parent participation. And we had already had updated those documents to really encourage and invite parents to participate rather than require them. No, not at all. It's Melinda like, Cunningham has a granddaughter in the first grade at Peabody. She says she has never been forced to volunteer. I feel that if I can come out here and help the children at least a little bit, you know, that helps me too. You know what I mean? Three million, one hundred. Peabody's principal says volunteering is no longer a requirement, but defends parent participation, saying it enriches the learning environment. Parent participation still is very strong today, and it's one of the reasons that Peabody is the school that it is. The ACLU claims Santa Barbara Charter forced students to turn in essays and interviews in exchange for admission. Laura Donner, the director of education, has been with the charter school for 21 years. She says she wants to know where the ACLU got its information. We have a lottery-based system, in fact, for our enrollment, and we've never had any sort of test or essay or enrollment requirement other than families, parents have to fill in a form to let us know that they want to attend. According to an email exchange between ACLU and Damian Barnett, Peabody is in compliance and will be removed from the list. As for Santa Barbara Charter, they're still waiting for a response. That report was turned into the California Department of Education. Reporting live in Goleta, Vicki Nguyen, News Channel 3. Thank you, Vicki.